Hey guys, Daniel here for Mobile Syrup and finally Google Drive after years of leaks and rumors and murmurs and whatever else you want to call it. It is finally here available for Android PC and OS X with an iOS app coming very soon. This is a brief just over, overview of the Android version. You can see it's uh, based in the new Hollow ice cream sandwich uh, theme. Very simple, very easy. Uh, Google Docs is now a part of Google Drive. The uh, price per gigabyte is actually pretty reasonable. You can spend $2.49 for uh, 25 gigabytes of extra storage, $4.99 uh, for 50 gigabytes of extra storage, and you get 5 gigs for free. You can see there are five panels here, My Drive, Shared With Me, Starred, Recent, and Offline. If we go into My Drive, we'll see all of my docs. These are the Google Docs that I've added in the last few months. It's ordered alphabetically. You can also sort based on last modified or last opened or edited. Uh, you can see each file can be starred and as I showed you there's a separate uh, directory for starred files. You can also um, click on the file itself and share it so I can share it with another person. I can collaborate. For example, I can add a collaborator, add an email address. It'll use your Google contacts to set an email. Uh, you can also click on make offline and as you can see if I go back there it's downloading the file. Now it says one file is now available offline. I go there to the offline panel and it's available for me to open up in whatever document editor I want. You can see it opens up in the regular ice cream sandwich PDF. So if we go back we can see that uh, moving along we can actually share the file and we can send it to specific people. So I can send it and I can use a number of uh, the Google API based apps. So Drive, I can share it with Dropbox, email, Evernote, Gmail, Skype even. Uh, I can go back. If I want to uh, share it, I can share it with, as I said, a number of other people. Uh, and more if I go, I can rename, delete, remove offline. So it's actually pretty simple. There's really not much to it. You can also create a new file, a uh, document. So if that's the Google Docs aspect of the, of the uh, service. And again, you have all of those excellent document uh, editing features on Android, uh, including some rich uh, text creation. You can uh, create you know, bullet points, underline, italicize, whatever you want and uh, it'll save it right there. You can also uh, create different directories. So if you uh, have created a directory, it'll be available there in Google Docs. And so you can create a new uh, document from photo or I can just upload a file. So it'll actually plug into a number of services. You can upload pictures, music. I can select a music track, for example, right here. And it will upload it as an MP3 to my Google Drive. There we go. Uh, it's very easy. If we go back to the home page, you can see that you have uh, the ability to use multiple email addresses, which is nice. And uh, you can also set the cache size. So if you want to download a lot of files, um, if any, but you don't want to make them offline, it'll store them on the device up to 100 or uh, 250 megabytes. You can enable encryption and streaming decryption. You can also set a reminder of how much data you're using. So um, if, you're, if you want to upload a file uh, and you're not on Wi-Fi, it'll warn you. Uh, things like that. I'm sure there will be much more uh, features to come in the coming months, but this is a pretty, um, pretty over, you know, extensive overhaul of the Google Docs system. And with the OS X and PC app, you can now sync files from those uh, from those places into your Android and iOS device, and uh, this will be a pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting way to see whether uh, Dropbox and the upcoming um, other competitors like SugarSync and and iCloud how they respond to this. So uh, this has been a quick overview of. Google Drive for Android and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks so much for watching.